Give him the clear to join its semifinals. So here we are in the semifinals. Two stoners, one drunk. And TMO from the Bromigos puts one on, comes down to midfield. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. The sniper's got talent. And just a midfield snipe from TMO, who is listed at the captain, but as he was telling me in the pregame, they're not, they don't really have a, a true captain, more just uh, someone who runs the errands, I guess. Get him a body bag, <laughs> yeah! Touch around, pass back. TMO gets clear through. TMO still staying tough, sturdy as the ball gets cleared out. Tank Hitman coming back to the blue corner, lets it off his car. Cross never comes, Barrar, who again, it's a funny situation. He's listed as the captain for two stoners, but he never really reached out to me to plan everything. He's waving the Canadian flag on the antenna. Gotta love the pride. Lapin in the chat and join the demo. Barrar, no touch there. And TMO with a nice save. It looks like we got some, some Texas boys on the field right now. Close one here, another demo. <laughs> Lapin says he must be drunk. <laughs> yeah, they, they would, they're definitely uh, trying to lead us there without outright saying it. <laughs> Touch there, double commit in the corner, so this is tier six, but don't let it fool you. I expect it to be highly competitive. Obviously, both these teams have gone through two, at least two rounds of playoffs. Take Hitman with the shot, nothing more. He could have used a shooter to get the cross as Barrar comes flying in, and third time is the charm to tie it up 1-1. With three minutes left, TMO and company just couldn't get a significant touch and clear, and it cost them as we proceed here. Okay, kickoff coming. Ferrar dropping it down, comes off his car. Zenith tries to squeak into the play. No touch from TMO, but. From everything I'm seeing, it looks like he may be the, the fastest on the field right now. Westford, good touch there, sends it out into the field to the orange side. Tank overruns the ball. It's bouncing, hopping, going through the snow. And he gets stopped at midfield by who other than TMO. He's going to have another shot opportunity here. Goes off the post. Barrar went back on the save. Gets no touch. Couldn't get any of the horns on it. As Tank makes a gnarly save there going off his own backboard to discourage the shot. Ferrar coming through. Crossing. Crossing. Touch. This looks like trouble. Zenith recognizes it. Sends it out midfield. And now he's going to bump and demo. But it's going to take a little more than that to get Tank. Out of his lane as Tank was getting bullied on the other end. Comes into the play after the wall bounce. That was legitness. Storm blessed the last one back, but just a little too awkward for him to handle. And the stoners and drunk are up 2-1. Luckily, IGL does not test for substances. Well, this might be a whole other issue, but it gets behind him. TMO is on the shot. He sends it to the wall. Zenith, no touch from Zenith as the higher-ranked Bromigos. I believe they're ranked number four. Let me make sure I'm not lying. Another demo. Why would you kill him like that? Yes, two stoners and the drunk are number nine coming in. 
to the match while the Bromigos are ranked number four. So this, this would be an upset pretty much any way you slice it. As the ball across the field. Burrar coming around the corner, but Storm blessed. Puts it out. Another shooter coming in, and it's Tank Hitman, who has been a bit of a busybody here in the early goings of this series. TMO and friends at Zenith on the play, but just a little flat-footed in the net. They were there on defense, but a little too much bang-bang on that play, not able to keep up with the scoring sequence. Boom, baby! Ferrar sends in a nice save by Stormbless. Stormbless has been playing uh, in, in the back around his net. He's there to to get those loose goals, but really to what end? They're, the Bro Migos find themselves still down two goals, and ever since the opening of the match, they haven't had very many scoring opportunities. Another demo. Mother trucker, dude. Pretty much a viable option and strategy at no matter what rank you are. It looks like these two teams aren't going to shy away from it as Tank Hitman. That is the hat trick for Tank Hitman. Keep the change, you filthy animal. And again, just a couple misses from Bro Migos will turn into a scoring play for two stoners and a drunk. As Barrar is going into the corner, they don't need much here. It's down to the floor. As 2-1 is up 1-0 in the best of seven series. And it looks like we got ourselves a little console versus PC here. Tank Hitman with the hat trick. One save and nine shots from Stoners and Drunk. Really, really good pressure. Three saves from the Bromigos as a collective. And we'll move on to game number two here. There, Berrar gets 50 at midfield. Storm bless. I'm not trying to pick on the guy, but it seems like so far, every time I call his name, it's in a negative light. He's going to want to get right. And in all fairness, he has a lot of games to do it. There'll be at least three more games played, and that's if two stoners, one drunk, win through it all. Another demo to open. <laughs> More demos. Damn it, Bobby. As uh, Lapin, I just noticed that you have uh, you have some some channel points on this one. What were uh, what went into to the decision? This is my first time casting either of these teams, so it's it's good to have them on. But uh, of course, I have to gain familiarity with them. Not really sure what any what either bring to the table. But right now, pretty impressed with both of them. Fury, love the streams, man. Are you casting in the spring season? Dr. Jimmy, Jammy, yes, I am. Of course, of course. It might be on a, on a lighter schedule, in all honesty, but but yeah, I should be casting uh, still pretty heavily in the in the spring. Get him a body bag, yeah! Goes straight in! It's Zenith, Barrar with the pop and Zenith. <laughs> Just pings it away. West is in the back, but it hops over him. Is there a way I can book you out six weeks in advance? <laughs> Chris, what up, man? Appreciate you stopping by. Nice pop there from Storm Bless. We were talking about Storm earlier, and he's going to want to, again, get right at, at some point in the series, and a goal there would have been a tremendous step in the right direction. 
but just a little too high as it goes off the crossbar. As uh, Chris in the chat knows a little bit about that. A bit of a crossbar killer himself. As we'll proceed here, Bromigo's enjoying a 1-0 lead. Bullet, what up, man? I heard, uh, I heard about your win. Congrats. Can I book you to narrate our comp games? <laughs> I, I would, though. I, I see the sarcasm tag, but I would. Nice move by Storm Bless. And Storm is just trying to shake off the cobwebs. And he will get the assist to Zenith. Strolls into the play. Ojo a Cristiano, Cristiano del área, sigue Cristiano. No. As the Bromigos, they go down in game one, but now they're up 2-0. Let's roll on here, another demo there. Puffy. Uh, so yeah, Lapin, I don't even know what that looks like. I would just go into someone's VC and just <laughs> just commentate while they're playing through. That'd be annoying. I'd be proud of any team that can uh, play through that. We had Dr yeah, Dronus is good. Um, me and my org, we uh, we booked him to help us cast the tournament. Uh, we, yeah, we we like him a lot too. Yeah, he, he's cool. Oh, speaking of cool, look at the slow roller from Barar. To cut the lead in half, he just slices through the confusion. And again, Stone Bless just in the back. Last one to know. And two stoners, one drunker right back in this. I'll get Mark to play with me. <laughs> Yo, Mark, I, I play rank with Mark sometimes. Um, we do pretty well. Hold on. Westford looking to do pretty well himself. But Zenith on defense there at front post. Another demo. Ooh. Coming off the sidewall. That might be trouble. But Barrar handles it well. Touch there. Chris, Chris, I'm surprised you still follow, man. I know your style. You're the you're the type to unfollow and then follow again. <laughs> like you leave discords. And no one's ready to touch it here. TMO sends it the other way. Barrar comes into the play of more demos, more physicality out there on the field, just blowing the snow away as Romigos are boasting a one goal late lead. Saw you cast Pyro's 1v1 one one that ended with the flip reset. Blew my mind how good the tier 3s are. Yeah, that's more of a 1s thing. Because um, it's just so hard to rank up. So, yeah, if, if you're a champ 1, champ 2 in 1s, uh, in then you're you're pretty serious about, about your business. Touch there. Crossy no touch from Tank. Westford comes into the play. Was... Trying to moonwalk into some defense. No touch there from Tank, who had a big game in game one. But the Bromigos are just dogpiling now. 3-1 to one with 26 seconds left. Been stuck in D3 and 1s forever. So hard to break it up. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a really good indicator of, uh, of where your personal skills and mechanics are for sure. Because uh, you, you need a... You need a lot. You need a lot to get past D3 and 1s. Uh, you, need, you need the quickness and, and the mechanics and, and the small touches. And it's, it's really hard to do. Maybe some, maybe some quick kickoffs in the game as well. But Bromigos respond. And we're just going to keep rolling through this best of seven. One to one on the series, and it is TM TMO. Don't call him a captain. Is the MVP 457, a goal, two saves, and five shots from the squad as a collective. Gonna go back into spectate here and Bromigos respond in kind. Again, rank number four. You see them six and one on the season. And 
here it is. Both teams showing how much they don't want their season to end here. Winner moves on to finals. Loser just goes home. So think about what they've done as Storm Blessed is on the board. And let's see if that alleviates some tension for him. Let's see if he gets that proverbial monkey off his back. Westford misses right outside the goal near the front post to help it along. But any way you slice it, it's Bromigo's up 1-0. Tank, who may be the best player for two stoners, one drunk. Uh, just, just judging from what I've seen thus far. And uh, you have to think that if two stoners, one drunk are going to be able to hang with the number four ranked Bromigos, it's going to be off of the back of Tank Hitman. 50 there. Zenith will take that ceiling bounce straight into the net. Bolt says, damn, bringing out the charger. Is that what that is? I liked it. I liked what was going on. It seems very similar. But you have to buy it, right? In like the Fast and Furious pack or whatever. Shot by TMO as Westford. <laughs> Am I? I think I'm calling him Westford, but it's Westford 21. So I'm dumb. And West, another ball gets behind him. He gets caught looking in the backfield as he sees his two teammates. He wants to cheat up, but TMO goes to keep the defense honest. And again, the Bromigos find themselves in a 3-0 lead. However, it is very early here. Bolts, never seen it on my stream. Yeah, I, it, it's usually the uh, the lower ranks and the lower tiers where you'll you'll see some uh, a, a wide array of, uh, of vehicles. The higher you go, everyone just wants to go with the main ones. Touch there, Barar coming into play, swinging it around, coming in the corner. He puts it right into TMO. TMO's looking to battle out. But yeah, in the, like tier six, tier seven, I've seen uh, well the, the the charger, and then uh, what's the the name of the plane one? Afterburner or whatever. I, I've seen that one. This uh, this this chick Mojo mains it. Aftershock. There you go. <laughs> Are you bringing out any more any new sound bites or face cam? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely new new sound bites. Uh, and definitely the face cam as well in the spring. So, correct on both of those. Tank, trying to keep the pressure on. They're down 3-0, oh, about three minutes left, just a shade under three minutes. This one looks good. Barar is not gonna let that one slip away. He's trying to just, just uh, ease their way back into the match here. Two forty-three left. Can we get a built tough soundbite for the next time I, <laughs> Lapin? I, I can't promise you, but I'm definitely open to it. As Storm Blessed, I told you, you had to watch out for Storm Blessed. I just felt something about him. As now he's gone back to back on us. And Bromigo's enjoying a healthy three goal lead here. Next kickoff coming. Fury face cam stopped. I can only get so excited. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I was new to streaming. Uh, like I never really watched Twitch before I started streaming. And I never really understood the, the fascination with the the face cam but it is such a thing it is such a thing and i kind of want to uh, hold on tmo goes airborne for this one pay him pay that man his money just tilts back and a very very solid aerial considering the ranks here this is uh this is low plat right now and TMO is, is showing us his stuff, you could say. 
but yeah, I was trying to avoid like a like a face reveal session situation, and I'm still not gonna make a big deal about it. Like you're just gonna come on the stream one day, and my my face is gonna be there. But it's uh it's so interesting. DNA says the stoners need a smoke break. Yeah, I they gotta be quick about it. The best we could do is the the 60 seconds in between each game. Uh, I, I actually, I think my teammate does that. <laughs> actually, TMO! More points for him, and we are treading into Brazil territory. And, uh, yeah, DNA, two stoners, one drunk. They looked good in game one. They got the win, but the wheels are starting to fall off. No pun here as the series goes on. And I, I'm not sure if it's more of a credit to the Bromigos and their adjustment, or maybe the two stoners uh, drunk maybe not able to keep up the pace that they set in the initial matchup touch there from west tank hitman who has gone quiet we've talked about that earlier and this is what we've seen from him and it's those plays like <laughs> like that that Tank needs to string together to, let's say, soften up the defense. But the Bromigos will miss out on a Brazil attempt now that it's 6-2 with 58 seconds to go. Get two of my guys a smoke and the other a margarita. <laughs> yeah. Touch there. So was that was that the deciding factor, Lapin? You, you came in. And you saw two stoners, one drunk, you're like, I like their name. Let's put some channel points on them. Touch here from Tina. That shot looks good! But Wes looks even better with his save. But I believe the damage has been done. It is four goals, a four goal deficit here that two stoners, one drunk have to surmount. And that, that's just not enough time. Exactly your thought process, yeah. It's funny the, the tiebreakers or deciding factors people come up with. I think Nitro Cloud's the funniest. Down into the snow and the bro amigos go. Bruh, that's a pizza? Good with the smoke though. <laughs> What up, Tamerly? Appreciate you stopping by. The Bromigos are in the driver's seat of the series now. Up 2-1. It is a best of seven. TMO with, I believe, his second hat trick performance. Don't quote me on that, but at least one here. 609 and 10 shots. Is that 10? Am I on crack? No, that's 10 shots. From the Bromigos here, and they are starting to feel themselves. So now, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Bromigos had a great showing, but now two stone is one drunk have an opportunity to make an adjustment. The double commit almost ends up into a pull shot goal. It's TMO wants the ball going the other way. West for 21. Sends it out and a shank shot there from Bromigos. West dropping it down to his teammate. It has some air underneath it off the wall. Who wants it? As Zenith wasn't waiting to find out, sends it off to his corner. West trying to catch, trying to collect. It goes on the wall. Shot and save awarded, but it again just slices out wide to the corner. Hold on, here comes another one. And Storm Blessed, who is going to be, I've never done this before, but he's going to be my comeback player of the series. He has done a tremendous job stringing together sequences. Well, scoring sequences essentially as he opens up this one and Bromigos are picking up right where they left off from game number three and they look like 
They're just gonna twist the knife now. Double aerial there. Storm blessed. Here's our man. Loses the 50. It's going back to the net and Zenith on the save. What twos rank are you? And do you ever hit uh, some comp with viewers? Uh, I do actually. I do. Um, I think uh, what's more popular is probably um, custom lobby matches in between uh, in between games, my IGL games. But when we don't have enough people for that, yeah, I definitely hop into twos. I think I'm champ one or two, I think, in twos. But, but yeah, I, my twos, I kind of use it to play with viewers, like you were saying, so it's, it's a little lower. Nice shot there from Barar. West is up, goes down. Again, double backboard take is up on the shot, and a double fake there. Bond, stop trying to hit me and hit me. I'm garbage. It has been a while, man. It's going well, it's going well. I hope you're doing good. Lapin Fury is my kind of rank. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm still working hard on threes, trying to trying to crack C3. I'm like 1380 there. Nice demo. Get him a body bag. Yeah. So I'm saying this looks good here for the Bromigos. So not the dominant performance thus far that they had in game three. So let's give a tip of the hat to two stoners, one drunk on that. However, they still have the lead. They're still in control as this one crosses orange net. Zenith with a great clear. A lot of air underneath this one. He's coming around the corner. And the faster man won there. Just been the, the Lawrence Challengers turn, so I've been watching that for a few weeks now. How is that? I, I, my cousin's been trying to get me to play at Valorant, and I, I might play it a little bit in the off season. But how, how is it as a spectator sport? Is it good to watch? West puts it out. It's just a little wide. Barrar was downfield. Was a pretty great pass to him. But he, it was just maybe a little too speedy. He couldn't make the adjustment. Couldn't get a horn on it, so to speak. This TMO trying to soften him up, goes in, and it's going the other way. Zenith trying to backtrack to his own side of the field, and what a pinch there for Zenith to overcome the 2v1. No touch there. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. We're getting fakes on fakes on fakes, and a demo to boot. Why would you kill him like that? Lapin says he'd rather spectate than play, but I'm bad. Yeah, yeah. If you watch pros play, it's really cool because, like, their aim. Okay, yeah, I see it. I had a... <laughs> I used to work with this dude who, um... Who I think was in the top tier on... What a shot from TMO as Wes gets credit with the save, scraping off the backboard. Uh, but I, I had a... I worked with this guy who was top tier in CSGO. And he was drunk in my house, and he wanted to play Counter-Strike on my PC. So he changed, like, all my monitor settings and all this craziness. And <laughs> it was just crazy watching him swing the mouse around. Nice demo there. Boom, baby! Zenith goes the other way, and it is still 1-0. Zenith looking to make it 2. Almost drops again. So a much better showing for two stoners, one drunk. But not enough to get it done as the Bromigos again just keep on advancing in the best of seven. TMO again with the MVP, 256, zero goals for him. And that's how you know it was one of those close, chippy contests when you can get away with a, a one goal victory. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Never let a drunk man in your house, I always say. <laughs> I would never sleep in my home if that was the case. You gotta you gotta let the homies come through. But uh yeah, it was just it was interesting. I'm not even sure if I ever changed my settings back on my monitor, to tell you the truth. 
But here we are, bro, Migos and match point. Coming off the corner, Tank gets 50 through. Up, 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 who wants it? The last man back for the bros. Just a little, that much, just too little, too far back. As Zenith just pops that weasel, steals the ball, puts it on, and TMO will take the gift and get the shot. Can I get a, oh yeah. Zenith looks on, he's just gonna look at his handiwork here as TMO watches it sail in. Good play for the Bromigos. Oh, Valorant, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I learned that, actually, but then I uh, unlearned it. So I, I remain I remain here with my low IQ. This is so much better than a Canucks game. <laughs> DNA sending the Canucks a stray bullet there on the disc is TMO again with the snipe. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. The sniper's got talent. Just splits the post. And you get the dab there coming out of the goal. And Bromigos are maybe looking to put the exclamation point on the series. And Barrar coming off the wall. No touch there. West to the corner. And West is, has been that, that silent partner, so to speak. For two stoners, one drunk, you, you haven't really seen much from him, good or bad. So, you know, you gotta you gotta take it as it comes. West going back, all the way back to get full boost, and he uses it to, for the demo. Ooh. Drops down. That might be in tank. Hitman, and you you just have noticed that when tank Hitman is quiet in his offensive production, it does not bode well. For two stoners, one drunk. But if you like playing CS, I would suggest trying Valorant. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of with uh, with Lapin. I I uh, I only play uh, first-person shooters with controller, and obviously you're at a distinct uh, disadvantage when you're playing against keyboard or mouse. West for sorry, West. For 21, coming off the wall, he's about to shut me up with a nice wall shot. Uh, so yeah, like I, I used to, that's what got me into uh, online and competitive gaming was uh, was like Halo 2. But um, but it's kind of a life that's that's passed me by, especially with now that PC reigns supreme. No, no, I don't play CS. I just I had it on my computer. Uh, my Steam library is pathetic. West trying to go in and Zenith comes into the save as it goes out wide on Orange Net, our man. And here comes TMO, way to go for that bro. Oh, I like that! Tucks it in, so 224 left, we're more than halfway done with what is shaping up to be the last game here. So if, if Jimmy Jammy was looking to play some games, it looks like that that's what we may be setting up for soon as we will have uh, some time between matches to play with here. Touch air crossing, TMO sends it the other way. West, good cross here from West, and what a shot from Marar. Eh, también se prepara este man granero, el pirata, por cierto, las reacciones en el banquillo. Imagínate. ¡Ojo, Cristiano! ¡Cristiano del área! ¡Sigue Cristiano! ¡No! So, what a play there. 3 to 1 from the Bromigos. And two stone is one drunk. They're not going away. Goes high up the crossbar. Tank Hitman. Nothing from him. I'm getting packet lost. I thought I had uh thought I had taken that setting off. Um hold on. Tank Hitman puts it on and there is our tank. 
that we came to know and love since game one shoots from the midfield right into the net. Very hard to address for the Bro Migos. At this rank, you don't really expect those shots on net pretty much from anywhere on the field. So caught a little off guard there as two stoners, one drunk, trying to keep it close here. Uh, but yeah, Garbage, I, there's a, a, a little app in Streamlabs. I forget what it's called, but um, I just got my Stream Deck, so I'm probably going to transition to that. I think it'll be uh, a lot less clunky using that going forward. Gerard touches out. Timo sends it the other way. Zenith swinging around. Nice 50 there. Goes up. 60 seconds left. It's the two stoners and the drunk. Want to come back? It has to start right here as Marar goes to the corner. TMO on the miss. And Tank Hitman is going to want that one back. Just a beautiful opportunity for him. And we have a rule one on the field. Zenith. Sends it on in the backflip from West. He was close enough. But not quite. Nice shot from Zenith. Yeah, but that backflip though. As West, even the backflip didn't mess him up too much. Is it automatic? No, I have to. It's uh I yeah, I have to I have to hit some hotkeys. So so I'm I'm constantly like hovering over the, the keyboard. TMO is always hovering around his opponent's goal apparently as they go up five to two 21 seconds left and tmo is just a bit of a madman there so uh both teams agreed to a post-game interview the bro migos wanted all of the migos involved so uh again with the way things are, are trending here it looks like we will be talking to the whole team at the end of this one One bouncing, tracking through the snow in the corner. And two stone is one drunk, just ran out of time on this series. Definitely had their, their flashes of, of brilliance and formidability. But it ends here as the Bromigos will take. Game number four and the win. TMO with another MVP performance and hat trick and one. Let's get this interview to, interview to drop. Is this a plat tourney? Uh, a plat circuit, yeah. Yeah, plat, plat one, plat two, uh, specifically. Yuri, I used to be roasty. Should I change my accounts to roasty? Um, uh, yeah, you you and I started the conversation when we were playing threes. I was telling you how much I like roasty. It's just, it's it's a little more catchy. It's an easy call out in games. And then, you know, we were already talking about like the coffee beans and the kind of branding you could do there. But yeah, man, we're, we're ready for the rebrand. Our body is ready. Uh, everyone... One of the best uh, Rocket League players I know, the dude that golfs, uh, go check him out. He, uh, If you want to see um, some good Rocket League uh, comp play, he, uh, he does stream it along with uh, Apex and a few other things. I feel like it's short, concise, and would... Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly, exactly. But enough of that. Let's get back to Rocket League. Let me join this voice chat here. <laughs> they sent me to I know they're a little iffy on the interview we may not get it
it is uh, it is not lost on me that people have better things to do. What the fuck? Players need to address their fans. <laughs> Tell them, DNA. Um, yeah, they, they invited me to the Discord. I went in. I'm just chilling in one of their VCs by myself. Uh, okay, yeah, they're getting on their Discord. All right, so should it be too much longer, chat? Uh, we have some time to work with. I don't think the next match is until about yeah like 30 minutes so we we got we got time we got time to chill Ooh, tmo gave me a eta of 30 seconds i like the precision hey tmo yeah this is tmo what up man can you hear me all right yeah we can hear you all hey, right. how's it going? Hello. Oh my god, you guys are blowing my mind. Are you guys all like in person together? Land yeah. party. Land yeah. party, dude. Oh my god. What what does this room smell like? How sweaty is it right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's perfect for us. <laughs> I you know if you tell me if you tell me it's not smelly and sweaty, I'll take your word for it. You you seem like a straight shooter. I see the beard and glasses in the in the avatar, so I'll I'll okay. trust you this time. <laughs> But uh, congrats to you fellas with the LAN party. Do you always do it? Or did you want to do something special for the semifinals? We try to do LAN party most for most uh, matches. I love yeah. it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, we've been doing it since, uh, since week one. Mm -hmm. Since week one. Maybe we're, we're attributing the, the success to this? We do like, uh, yeah. we do like being in person for the, the call outs. And right. the, the room is always really good. We always give each other high fives and stuff after every goal. <laughs> <laughs> which which was actually my next uh question uh so you guys you don't you don't bother with discord you're just all in person just actually saying yeah. out uh to to each other in the same yeah. room yeah, yeah. Tech. nice nice you can just feel each other's breath on the call outs i love it <laughs> <laughs> just get sometimes we'll all, yeah yeah it's it's great it's when you're playing on discord it's sometimes you can talk over each other i feel like that happens a lot less in person oh Ooh, yeah. okay Okay, yeah, I've had a few teams. I I cast uh, uh, more often than not a father and son team, and uh, they they play LAN, and they talk about that. But I've never heard that point raised where there's uh, less less talk over. That's interesting. Yeah, it's That's... much more coordinated. Less lag too. Yep. Yeah. Ah, shit. Maybe you guys have it figured out. I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna move out of my house with my wife, and then we're, I'm gonna just gonna move in with the squad. And, there you go. And we're, you know, we're just gonna get it going. Up, you know, it's it's uh, it's one of those esports caves we got going on. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of those things. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, which yeah, uh, sets me right up uh, perfectly for my next question: Is uh, are you guys roommates, or do, does someone have enough space at their at their respective domicile to to house this? Yeah, we're chilling at my house right now. Um, we some of us have been roommates before, and we've all been playing games in person and online for like six years now. So um, we just. Took this opportunity to set it up at my house. Okay. Also, you guys are just about that life, then. It sounds. Oh like. yeah. <laughs> How long have you guys uh, been been a Rocket League team? Um, uh, since October. Yeah. Right. Co collectively, think... since October, we've all been playing. Just since playing comp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Standard since about yeah, like around. Well, okay. like we used to play back in like 2015 a little bit, but never really like comp yeah. or anything. Just sort of. And you then we guys, didn't play like three you or four years. You guys yeah. are very good at answering my next question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was gonna ask if uh, if the free to play uh, played a factor a at all in a decision to play, but if you guys have been playing since since about release, it sounds like maybe yeah, on and off. Yeah, on release, and then we I don't think we played for like four years. Yeah, at least I didn't play for like four or five years, and then um, when free to play came out and it was getting big again, I saw Ty or uh, Timo playing a bunch, and then kind of got on in on that and started playing more seriously since October, playing quite a lot. Is there any particular reason for the resurgence or just eh, bored enough? I think it's just quarantine boredom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, okay. I got I got a DNA here in the chat. He wants to know if you guys split screen. I'd imagine not, right? No, no. not competitively. Although uh, we did uh, like edit some I and I files to get two uh, full like fourteen forty p monitors split screen one time. So we... <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys need to to get out more. It sounds like <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. One time. I remember from split screen is Kimo and I are playing double split screen and we beat these teams so bad that they both raged and we're like, there's no way you're actually split screen. You're just lying. You changed your name to Timo too. Uh, oh uh, my god. Yeah, man. People's uh people's egos. I don't know. I'm just I'll leave it there. I don't know. I don't have too much to say about it. You guys I can just say that and everyone knows what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, split screen's madness. Um Season, quarantine boredom, okay, sweaty room. Um, <laughs> so how's how's the season? Is this your first IGL circuit then, I would assume? Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay, how's it, how's it been so far? You've had a lot of success here going uh, we're now 8-1. and one. Uh, How's it been uh, throughout the season? It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's yeah. been fun. There are a couple teams have been like more of a challenge than others. Definitely. I think our biggest problem so far is like scheduling conflicts and having yeah, uh, teams yeah. drop out. Unfortunately, we've had... Yeah. Or three, three matches to be forfeited, yeah. unfortunately, which every time we have them, we we're, we really want to work with the team and get them to play and stuff, and then we're always bummed out when we don't actually get to play that week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if you guys continue to... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. That's fine. Yeah, if you guys continue to rank up, stuff like that will go away, because you'll just you'll get um, a, a much more serious players uh, yeah. and everything. You know, I, I'm not to say you guys aren't. You guys sound like, you know, we've already established that, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, people, you, you know, when they're around this rank, they'll they'll come into IGL. I've heard some people think like it's a one-off tournament, and they don't know that it's you know at least a six-week regular season plus playoffs. So you'll get mm-hmm. some some fall off from that. Uh, teams will just kind of hate each other by the end of the season. So there's just a lot of fallout, and IGL does a good job combating it, but there's only so much you can do to to address it. Go ahead. I was going to say, we did have one of those teams that the reason they forfeited, we were like, oh, but can you just not make it? We can reschedule. Like, oh, no, we don't play together anymore. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah one... they, he's like, no, no, he, he slept with my mom. We, we're not a fun team anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah, one team I think, like, his parents were mad at him or something. He's like, yeah, I, I'm grounded and, like, uh, I have to oh, dinner yeah, tonight. that's right. That was so weird. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that happens too, man. It's hard out here. It's hard out yeah. here. Yeah. I had a, I, I had, I heard about this one twos game where they come into the match, they play a match, and then after game one, one of the teammates got uh, banned by uh, Psyonix. Oh my <laughs> so he couldn't, he couldn't finish the series. Oh no. So, yeah, the, the more you, you hang around the, the circuit, you'll see some, some, wacky, some wacky stuff. So uh, everyone's enjoying the, the circuit. Um, is it TMO or TMO? Timo, yeah. Timo, you could use a dash in your name, man, if I may say. Uh, I'll take that into consideration. I haven't thought about that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're calling you're... him Timo now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's go through here. Oh, you guys went, went double DQ to get here? Yeah, no, I think no, so. no, no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we did last, just last week, yeah. Yeah. Hold, hold on, let me let me get my wits about me here. Let me... <laughs> was it double DQ? I thought it was double DQ. No, no, it was double DQ for. Uh... No, and I'm even wrong. I'm wrong there too. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Where are we? There were a lot of DQs in the bracket. We were looking at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that right now. Um... Okay, here you guys are. So you have one DQ. Uh, yeah, it looks like double forfeit to me. Yeah, because it, it, yeah, it puts you up uh, against uh, Team Impact one zero, and then against Spiral Rebellion one zero, and then yeah, but what a crazy semifinals! But you guys look look up to the up to the bill, uh, to say the least. Uh, just judging from what I saw, we have on the other side of the bracket FTC Esports, the number two ranked seed. Did you see them in the regular season? Uh, I don't think so. No, we, we never played them. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that that would be interesting. Um, I know you guys are new, but do you? Have you gotten around to like scouting out uh, potential uh, opponents and, and looking at their VODs or any of their past casts or streams? We haven't looked at past streams. We were really excited about the game against Spy because it looked like they were um, pretty favorable in that match. And I think they ended up TQing on that Yeah, as well. I wasn't sure what happened there. Because yeah. that was our, our, our big loss during the regular season with against Spy. So we were excited uh, about it. 
I'm, t- mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you guys are monsters at answering my future questions. <laughs> I, it, yeah, because obviously that team stood in the way of, uh, of a perfect record for you guys, which, which is a nice little uh, uh, accolade to have under, underneath your belt there. Um, so haven't played a F- FTC, so that'd be an interesting matchup. I mean, I, I think it's, I think we've already glossed over the topic of you guys having time on your hands. If you guys have one asset, it sounds like time is it. So, so yeah, I, I've talked. I talk to captains sometimes. Some teams like doing it. Some teams don't. They don't want to psych themselves out for maybe seeing a little too much of their opponent or or just kind of getting the wrong impression. Uh, but other captains uh, pretty much swear by it. Um, they say that you know they're able to see tendencies on on kickoffs and rotational tendencies and stuff. So it's uh, yeah, some people are out here living that life. I think for us and that makes sense. But also we found a lot that. As teams were playing, they changed their styles from match Definitely. to match. Anyway. Yep. So maybe that would help. We actually, you know what? That makes sense because our we kind of made a joke about it, but it's always true. Lose. We almost always lose our first match, and then we win. Right. Uh, <laughs> and so maybe that's why. And maybe we can stop that. And last tonight, <laughs> after we, we lost the first match, we were like, man, they're really good. But we've basically done this every week, this entire yep. circuit, is yeah. we've lost the first match, and then we come back and win. So we weren't we weren't putting too hard after that first match, but maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe we can break that if we actually you know figure out how to. Maybe we're good at adapting, but we're not good at going in and uh, you know playing defensively against whatever tactic they have in the first match. All right, that's and believe hard. it or not, fellas, we stumbled right into my next topic <laughs> was uh, how, how you guys were feeling after that initial loss in game one. But what you're telling me is just business as usual, uh, and that if you guys. <laughs> If you guys had won game one, you may have like been uncomfortable. Yeah, that is true. No, yeah, that happened. I think yeah. we, have, we kind of factor in that initial loss and uh, don't let us psych, psych us out too much. And especially being a best of seven, that helped us be feel yep. a lot more comfortable because yeah, we had yeah. some we had some uh, difficulties with traffic today, so we didn't get any warm up at all. Usually, we like to have at least yeah. half ah, hour to warm okay. up, and literally we just we got here and we like had to rush to. We literally got into the match like at eight, eight. Uh, and so. We were not warmed up or anything. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You guys were a little late to the show. Like, okay. You know, they're a really good team uh, in that first match, but we also just sort of wrote it off as we needed to get warmed up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, that's – go ahead. So I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's cool. I was just going to say, I think a lot of it's also based on, like, the momentum of it too. Like, yeah, we lost that first game, but we, we had a big comeback that second game, and it just carried us forward through the rest of it, I think. Right. Yeah, and then you know they. I think it was game three or four where I thought they might uh, bring it back and kind of make it a closer series, but that never really uh, came to fruition either. And it was it was just that one game where I'm I'm with you guys. They looked they looked really good, and um, you know I was joking around with uh, one of the with the players that was arranging the cast and everything. And <laughs> what did he say here? Let me get a direct quote from him. He said. Oh, because I was asking about the post-game interview and everything. And he says, I don't know, something about <laughs> losing. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, the, the confidence wasn't uh, wasn't v- very much there. But, yeah, they, they came out in game one. I was like, oh, he's he's sandbagging me. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you guys got, got warmed up like you were saying, uh, came right back in it and just never really let go. Um, was there a particular game or, or point in the series where you guys felt just, just really, really comfortable and then you just felt like maybe you just kind of had to grind it out the rest of the way? Probably when we were 6-1. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, I think <laughs> game four was kind of the peak of like where we were really feeling it. And then right. it sort of turned around for a bit. Like, like yeah, two, we had that, well, we had the, we two won 6-2 and yeah. then we were down like, we barely won the next game. So Yeah, game four was kind of a challenge. I feel like yeah. we had to rally again and make sure that we were all like in a good headspace for game five. All right, so you guys do the you do the land party. You're all in the room together. You say you like the the high five celebrations uh, IRL. Is that after every single goal or? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, you got to each, give each other a high five. Yeah, it's a whole it's, ritual. It's not lame. You got to keep you keep the energy up. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. All the cool. cool <laughs> well, I I'm kind of new in, into like the esports realm. Uh, so I was watching some some Rocket League, uh, well RLCS highlights. And what I've noticed from pro gamers is they have a really hard time with uh, in-person high fives. They're, they're <laughs> always they're always really awkward, just kind of like rigor mortis claws. Just... So we we're saying that we're ready for esports because we have our, our high fives down. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. That, that was the first thing you guys said. I was like, oh man, these guys are destined for greatness. <laughs> 
because that's pretty much what the only thing that um, pro esports <laughs> is lacking, if you ask me. I got that checked off, man. Yeah, You're good. Perfect, no perfect. So that's that's one box down. Um, I think we're we're winding down here. Muffin Men are also a possibility. Uh, did you play them? I don't know if we talked about that. I think we ever played them. Doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. Okay, so dang. So neither FTC or Muffin Men. I I've never I haven't casted any team from this uh, from this bracket either. So this is actually our first game with a caster. Okay, yeah. okay. How how is it going so far? <laughs> Great. We we had a lot of people watching too um, from just our friend groups, and they really enjoyed it. So oh Probably shit, you. nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, hi, everyone. I don't know if they're, they're sure if they're still watching. <laughs> <laughs> they probably okay. turned it off when they heard our voices. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't hear this shit. <laughs> I don't know. DNA here was, was rabid. He thought you guys were going to stiff me on the interview. He's like, what the fuck? Players need to address their fans. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, Tamerly's in here. Tamerly came in. He said, go, bro, amigos. But Tamerly came in kind of like slurring. <laughs> Like yeah. slurring in the chat. What do they say here? Like, Slur. like, bruh, that's a pizza. Good with the smoke though. And I like. I was about to send like the paramedics over. Like Tamerly was had, like stroking out watching Twitch or something. She is the paramedic. <laughs> Doo doo golfs. This is why I shout you out, man. Appreciate the sub. But uh, yeah, back back to Rocket League. Um, well, glad to have you have you guys in the in the sport. I hope we don't lose you to more boredom. Um, <laughs> well, it started out as boredom. Now we're very much enthusiastic. You like about... it? You get a kick out of it now? Oh yeah, it's great. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we and we we we've uh, I've oh, I talked about uh, IGL with other captains, and they they really like the extra element that IGL provides because you know there's yeah. only so much comp you can play before yeah, you're exactly. like, uh, but IGL, you see, you know, the scheduling, the, the circuit format playoffs, it's just, you know, something to look forward to. So it definitely, uh, I think keeps a uh, wind in people's sails. Yeah. Keep... It's been a blast. And it's, it's given us more reason to play a comp like throughout the week. Cause we want to get practice in. And, mm -hmm. uh, so they both sort of feed into each other, which is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So Tamerly, okay. She says margarita versus margarita. It's a spelling thing from earlier. Go. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm with. I'm with yeah, you now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. From Lapin. Yeah. Cause we we were kind of joking around in the chat about the two stoners, one drunk, and uh, La uh, Lapin. Lapin had a he bet channel points on them, so he was like, "What's that? Which one is the drunk? Uh, Do we know? No, we don't know. But Lapin said, "Get two of my guys a smoke and the other a margarita," and so. <laughs> Um, so Tamerly pretty much had the perfect joke for that, and we all slept on it. We all slept right through that <laughs> pitch perfect joke. So actually, that reminds me. Let's pay out the predictions here. So this is always fun. So 63% support for two stoners, one drunk, and 38% for you guys. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, I mean, I can't right. Pay. We, if we if we got the double DQ, you know, yeah. <laughs> there's no there's no you know footage to go off of. So. Well, you were still the higher seed though, but people people like their upsets around here. I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, yeah, good to have you guys. You're you're in finals. Um, congrats, congrats Thanks. on that. Good luck next week, and uh, you guys have the floor. Everyone that comes in the winner circle, um, I let them do shout outs. Um, plug anything they have or just talk about anything they want really no i think we're good yeah we're good <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are we're, finish my sentence the whole way through this interview and then we're just yeah, good. We're yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you coming on to cast yeah thanks was, man yeah, we really we're gonna it. we're gonna watch the vod later i'm excited yeah yeah let me let me know uh good feedback uh poor feedback constructive i i haven't I've, this is only my second circuit doing it so i still nice. uh, a lot to learn but yeah let me know let me know if you enjoy it either way um, thanks could we bring you on for finals what's that could we bring you on for finals yeah yeah i don't really hold spots uh just to keep things fair but yep. as as soon as you're um as soon as you're scheduled with uh your, the other the other captains uh dm me and then uh, okay perfect and we'll go from there. Awesome, man. DNA, DNA says they're all drunks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so DNA says Tank is the non-stoner. Or the okay. non-stoner. And then they're all drunks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can, 
I, I yeah, I, I through my high school career and probably most of my twenties, I, I said that I was a uh, I was a I was a drunk. I was an alcoholic with pothead tendencies, but I, I never really smoked. So, but that was that was what I gave myself. So yeah, you guys kept me on my toes the whole way through the interview. Congratulations. PDL stands for. We were wondering that. Say it again. PDL, their clan tag. PDL. Oh no, I don't actually. No. Okay. You're no. trying to figure that out. Hmm. They're enigmas. I'll, I'll try to have that for you by finals. <laughs> if you if you remind me. Well, you know, if everything goes according to plan for you guys, not only do we, I cast you guys again, but you win, and then we get the post game interview. Oh, All sweet! Right, that's more awesome. more incentive for us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, big congrats to you. This this is a bigger deal than you than you think, man. IGL, there's uh there's some killers out here, so uh, I would say enjoy it and uh, and have fun. But it seems like you got got that box checked as well. Thanks, man. Thank you. Peace. See you. Have a good one. All right, the Brobigos, fun dudes to talk to. DNA, appreciate you hanging out. Tamerly, appreciate you uh, coming in, watching, joking around. Uh, good, good pizza joke. <laughs> um, you were the only one that caught it. But uh, we'll uh, get ready to transition here. Let's get some hype going. I have, let me see, two more matches tonight. Give me a few moments. And yeah, it's in about 12 minutes. It is a 2v2, and this one is at tier 